Welcome back. Time for us to do a little cooking. Our friend and chef Mark Leslie is here. He's been on the Today Show. He's got his own cookbook. And you always bring in fancy, nice recipes, some things that you think, oh, this would be so hard to do. But you show us it's pretty easy and lots of good fresh produce and pretty healthy stuff. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if fancy just means that it doesn't come out of a box, I guess. But I mean, it um, looks, you put this on the spread and people are like, oh, that's kind well, of. Well, yeah, well, we eat with our what eyes and we want to make sure, yeah, we want to make sure that it looks inviting. And yeah. you want to make sure that people may think it's a strange combination of something, but actually it looks good, so therefore you're going to try it. And today, um, this month, September, is National Honey Month. Okay. And Alabama has some great producers of honey here mm -hmm. and for more information about where you can actually buy local honey in Alabama you can actually go to the um, the Alabama Farmers Federation site and look up you know Google search Alabama honey and yeah. a bunch of stuff will come up but this is an Italian recipe it's actually a dessert recipe for them but I like to serve it as an appetizer so we we'll use some pears it's fall we'll get into some pears definitely so uh, let's get cooking and you're uh, a lot of your cooking ideas and recipes come from Italy because you visit there a lot and that's where you've kind of got a chance to really see the culture and bring some stuff back to us yeah they really gather around the table and eat as a family still and I think we used to do that more and now yeah. we're getting away from it but I think we're slowly coming back and this is just this actual recipe is great for a party okay. uh, I made it one time for friends for a poker game you uh -huh. can do it at a tailgating party and it's just not usually the same old bag of chips all the time so this you yeah. know everybody think you're kind of cool and you're do something always going to be hosting the party I guarantee you that <laughs> yeah, let's go to Mark's house <laughs> exactly so we're going to start with this gorgonzola you can either get it in a block like I have here um, or you can buy it already crumbled doesn't make any difference okay. uh, gorgonzola is Italian blue cheese you know there's Maytag was which is the American blue cheese. There's Stilton, which is England. There's Roquefort, which is French. We're going to take this, and it's already crumbled. If you're using the block, you're just going to chop it up. We're okay. going to add some heavy cream, not a lot. And people think, oh, heavy cream is so fattening. Just a little bit. We're going to take this cheese and turn it into a spread. Okay. That's all we're doing. So we're going to mash this around. And actually, why don't you get oh, to mash it? Okay. Take that big mash. old fork. Just okay. get in there and just mash it around. A little mashing. Right. Well, we're next going to take a pear. Pear is a great kind of, you know, fall fruit, obviously. And it pairs really well with gorgonzola. And uh, we're just going to slice some of it. We're going to take the core out and take a little bit of the stem out. Here's my fancy knife. I love that knife. I what know you what's do. that called again? It's a ceramic knife. Yeah. I don't have to get you one. For it looks Christmas. like it's just like plastic. Like that thing would fold over on itself. That thing is super sharp yeah, and no, sturdy. Yeah, it's really sharp and it's uh, yeah, it almost feels like you're cutting with a piece of uh, I don't know, sharpened plastic or something. Yeah, maybe you better not get me one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Might be looking at nine fingers by the end of the day. Exactly. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of bread and I just have a baguette here that I cut down so it actually can fit on this cutting board. We're just going to cut a couple slices on the angle. It's called cutting on the bias. Okay. Um, what it does is it actually gives you more surface than if you cut it straight across. Really simple. Keep mashing. You know what I actually think? I was going to swap out, but I actually think I'm, you're doing good enough. I'm going to dip in here. Okay. So we're just going to take a little bit of this gore. Keep mashing there. Got to feed the whole studio. So we're going to just spread a little they of got this. Some of this mash nah, they they eat. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to spread a little of this on the toast. So, so okay. far we have bread, we have gorgonzola cheese, a little bit of cream. We're going to take a slice of pear. And that's it. You're going to put it on a lined baking sheet. Obviously, we don't have an oven on here on set, so we're actually going to use, I brought in a toaster oven, so we're going to do that. You're crafty, too, about using different devices and oh, yeah, indoor well, grills. You got it all. Oh, well, you know, all of us at home, we have to, you know, you, you can use a cast iron skillet if you don't have an yeah. indoor grill pan. So, same thing. I mean, that's what our grandmothers used to use, I think, before the uh, Weber grill came out. So, we're going to put those on a baking sheet, and then we're going to pop them into the oven. You're going to cook them really hot at 425 degrees. You can stop if you want. I mash the heck out of <laughs> <laughs> you did that. <laughs> and when they come out of the oven, they'll be nice and toasted. What you want to do is, while they're warm, you want to take some honey. I brought the honey bear today. Of course. Not the honey badger, but yeah. he doesn't care either. Honey badger doesn't care. He, he doesn't, doesn't play either, but he doesn't care. That's right. <laughs> so you're just going to drizzle a little honey, a little honey. Don't get crazy. Okay which is what I want to do too. And that's it. You're going to plate them up and serve it. It's really fast. It takes about 10 minutes in the oven. And uh, we're lo using local honey. I think these are... What are these called now? This is a crostini, which means it's a crust that has something on it that's baked in the oven. This a is crostini. gorgonzola cheese with pear and honey. You ready? Combination of little cheese, little fruit, yeah, some honey. Yeah, so be careful. Right. There's napkin. <laughs> You're just in a suit. It doesn't matter. It's good, isn't it? Buongiorno. <laughs> what does that mean? That means hello. Hello. You really this is good. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Or buonissimo yeah. means it's really, really good. It is. Yeah, it's excellent. So you get that kind of uh, cut of the bite of the kind of sp cheese, the blue cheese yeah. flavor in it, and then you get a little bit of the honey, the sweetness of the honey, the pear. It's a good combination of kind yeah, of sweet. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, and it's great. Good. It's great to play with cards. It's a really quick recipe. I mean. 
Today's one of those recipes when I'm not rushing to get to the end of it. It's really quick. It cooks up uh, really fast, and it's really good for you. Like I said, we're all about tailgating, and people like to get together and watch football games. You can bring, you know, the, the wings like you always do. You can bring something like this and really impress folks. And yeah. Like I said, simple to do. Ingredients probably won't cost you that much, and no. mm -hmm. you'll be the uh, the hit of the party for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. And you're also, you know, you're you're shopping in your local community. You're actually buying honey that's been produced in the area. There's whole kinds of research on allergies and how good local honey is. But really, you support your local economies, support your local produce section, actually go to the produce section in the store, and actually um, cook with what you can find, and don't pull it out of the freezer. It's good stuff. i got to tear this thing up during the break. I'm there dripping honey, so I'll, I'll give you like an elbow. And there you go. <laughs> Mark, thank you again for coming. Thank we'll you. See Appreciate you come back it. Yep, next week. Again, next week. Always good to have Chef Mark Leslie. Where can you find your books again? Uh, the book you can find at Capital Book and News, Kay. which is here in Montgomery, or you can go on Online, go to my website beyondthepasta.com yeah. and it's iBook and eBook and yeah. there's an app and it's all over the place. It's good stuff. Yeah, you'll look like a superstar in the kitchen when you get that thing. More coming up. A check on your phone.